and we're back with the HD 7th generation games. Uh, I'm doing 360. I don't have many 360 games uh, that I don't have many 360 games, so I'm just gonna put them all in one video. So might as well. Sonic Generations. This is my favorite Sonic game, and uh, you know I, I love both styles of gameplay. I like the classic uh, style game of gameplay. Modern Sonic has his you know has the best stages in the, the series so far. And, you know, then they changed up the gameplay for uh, Lost World. But, uh, to me, this is the best, this is my favorite Sonic game. Mostly because it just, it gave me a lot of throwbacks to games that, you know, I grew up with. And, you know, because I grew up with Sonic Heroes. I grew up with Shadow the Hedgehog. And even the classic games I grew up with. So I recognized a lot of moments from this game. And it was just, it was so much fun going through the levels. I still come back to the levels every now and then. So... It is just, and it also has some of the best 3D gameplay of any game. And you know, classic Sonic's fun too, but modern Sonic is insanely fun to replay. I think modern Sonic stages are actually better in this game uh, than classic Sonic stages are in this game. Though I still like classic Sonic a lot, even though it doesn't control exactly like the classic games. But whatever, that's fine, as long as it's close enough. Definitely better than Sonic 4 Episode One. <laughs> Batman Arkham Asylum. This is going to piss off a lot of people because I have not really played much of this game. I'm not really into stealth games and sadly the Arkham games are stealth games and I'm not really into them because of it. So maybe one day I'll give it another chance. But for now, but this is out. No, I thought that this was uh, out of this case. Uh, for now, not, not now. Maybe some other day. Transformers War for Cybertron. It's an okay third-person shooter. It's probably the best Transformers game we're ever going to get. Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. I only got this because I wanted to play with my brother, and he still hasn't touched it. He hasn't really played video games much anymore, so maybe that's why. Star Wars Republic Heroes. A terrible game. <laughs> I got this uh, for pretty cheap by a friend, and... Uh, Lucky I got something else with it that was actually good, so it isn't a total loss. Lego Star Wars 3, uh, The Clone Wars. This is my favorite Lego game, mostly because it just fixes some of the problems I had with other Lego games, and it kind of took what worked in Lego Indiana Jones 2 and what worked in previous Lego games and blended them together. So, definitely a fun game. Probably my favorite Lego game, to be honest. Trans it, well, it is my favorite Lego game. Uh, Transformers Fall for Cybertron, the sequel. Uh, honestly, I don't really think this is better or worse than the original. I sort of think they're both kind of equal. Though I haven't beaten this game yet, for one reason. This disc is scratched. It freezes on me whenever I try to play the final level. So with that said, what I have to do is I'm going to have to get a new copy at some point and finish the game. I'm on the last level, too. Can you believe that? Ugh. I got it to complete the collection. <laughs> Sonic 06. I'm not even going to spend much time on this because uh, what can I possibly say that hasn't already been said by Some Call Me Johnny, Clement especially. Nick and Uncle Magna did a review of this as well. This game is... Everybody knows it's a pile of shit. Everyone knows it's considered one of the worst games of all time. Everyone knows it's probably the worst that Sonic's got, gotten, and probably is ever going to get. You know, sometimes you have to hit rock bottom in order to get back up. And, you know, this is the rock bottom. So, I, I don't even, you know, I don't like the game. It's no surprise. So why do I have it? Because I want to complete the Sonic collection. I want to complete the collection of getting all the main series games. Sadly, whether you like to admit it or not, this is a main series game. So... It's kind of required of me to get it. I've played it. I've played all three stories. Uh, I haven't played the final. I haven't beaten the final story. I haven't played the final story. I couldn't beat it because the final story is a piece of crap. Ugh. Just watch Clement's review. I don't even need to spend any time on this. I'm not gonna beat a dead horse. You know, there's no point in me going over it. Everybody's already sh shredded it to bits. It's just. 
Don't even bother. I don't even have to not recommend it. You you're, you shouldn't get it. Just don't. Just don't get it. For the love of God, don't get it. Wait a minute, I want to see. Okay, yeah, it does say it's a Blu-ray disc on here. I just don't want it. All the PS3 games are Blu-ray discs, so it's like, I didn't see it there. Uh, Sonic Unleashed. Uh, the HD version, I, I like, it is the definitive version of Unleashed, but, uh, a, my major problem with Unleashed mostly stems from the Werehog. It's just not necessary. There was really no point in adding it, and that was kind of my problem with it. Also, if you're going to get Sonic Unleashed, don't get the PS3 version. Get the 360 version. I only have it because I wanted to get it on the PS3. However, I didn't notice that it had a shit ton amount of slowdown. Like, seriously. This version slows down so much. It's fine for most of the levels, but the hub worlds, and especially some of the Werehog levels, <clears throat> mainly Rooftop Run, and uh, Adabat, oh god, I hate to see what Adabat is like on this version, because I haven't gotten to daytime Adabat yet. But oh god, oh god. Needless to say, don't get this version. It's not a bad version by any means. It's playable. But god damn it, does it slow down way too much. Also, the loading times are pretty much like Sonic 06 in that version, so... Again, get the 360 version, if you're gonna play Sonic Unleashed on the HD consoles. Sonic and Tango All-Stars Racing. This is a really fun racing game. It is a Mario Kart clone, but it's a good Mario Kart clone. I recommend it if you, even if you're not... Even if you're a fan of Mario Kart, get it, because it is a good game. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. I got this because it had tons of Genesis games on there. I had a lot of fun with this collection with uh, a couple of my friends, so I got it just for that. Though we haven't played it much since then. Halo Reach, probably my favorite first-person shooter, and the only Halo game that I actually really like, like, really like. I don't really care too much for the Halo as a series, I mostly just really like Halo Reach, and that's about it. I like it for its story, I like its forge mode, I like all of that, and I like its gameplay, so... Halo Reach is a lot of fun, uh, but I don't really bother with the rest of the series. I heard Halo 4 was good, though. Maybe I should give that a chance. Lego Batman, the video game, from the library, nonetheless. Yeah, uh, I tried to return it. But since it was like a year late, they didn't accept it, and they just, you know, they said, screw it, you can keep it. So, Lego Batman, yay. It's a, it's okay. It's a Lego game. <laughs> Another copy of Sonic Generations. This is the copy that works. The copy I showed you before doesn't work that well. The cutscenes freeze whenever I put them on, so I got this just to see the cutscenes. So... Star Wars The Force Unleashed, the HD game. I already said I like the Wii version better, but this version's pretty good too. It has its own stuff. Like, it has a bit of a different story. Uh, not too different, though. It just cuts out a lot of the stuff that was in the Wii version, which is why I, I personally like the Wii uh, version a bit more, because I think it's, it has more story, and that added story actually helps. But still, this version's fine. It, it was fun. Very pretty, though. It was probably the best-looking Star Wars game I've seen, like, ever. Halo Evolved... Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. This is the remake of the first game. Uh, I don't really think the first Halo's aged very well. I didn't get to play all of it because my Xbox scratches discs. Yeah, can you believe that? So, you know, sadly I wasn't able to complete it, but... I didn't really care for this game too much, so I don't really care. And that's it for the 360 games. I don't have any more. I only have two. <laughs> uh, Soul Calibur 4. It's a pretty good game. I got this for like 8 bucks, so I'm not too angry. Uh, I think it's at least worth at least 20 so which is what it says here, but it was wrong. The labels were wrong. Um, Soul Calibur 4 is a pretty fun game. It's by no means a masterpiece, and I still think 2 is better, but 4 is pretty good. I do like its custom character option. That that was really fun to play around with. Uh, Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite Lego games, because a lot of the best puzzles are actually in this game. Uh, so, that's why I like it a lot. 
Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'm not, I don't really play Street Fighter that much, and I don't play Marvel vs. Capcom either. But, um, uh, my, my brother wanted to play it, and so I got it so we could play it sometime, and again, we haven't touched it. <laughs> I do have Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but honestly, I haven't played uh, much of that either. I'm not a huge, I, I'm not a huge 2D fighter fan. I'm more of a fan of the 3D fighters and Smash, so... Uh, that's just my personal taste in fighting games. They're not bad games by any means. Uh, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. I got this because I enjoyed the first two Lego games, and I I touch I've played it every now and then, but uh, I don't really play it much. So. Hey, Sony Smash Brothers. I got it to hold me over until Smash Four. That's pretty much all I got it for, and I was curious. And cash grab the video games. Uh, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed 2. Again, cash grab the video game. I I don't know whether to say the Wii version is better. I, I actually you know what the Wii version is better because it does have multiplayer. Even though the multiplayer is a carbon copy of Smash, at the very least it looks like fun. This uh, game doesn't really. It doesn't have anything to offer. Again, it's only three hours long. The story is barely there. No point. No point in playing it. Just play the first game. Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. This is a pretty fun game. Uh, it doesn't have the open world, which I usually like about Spider-Man. It has levels themselves, but the levels themselves are pretty fun, and the combat's pretty good. So, uh, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions is uh, a pretty good game. And, uh... Lego Indiana Jones The Original Adventures again, this time from the library. Again, like I said before, it was like a year late and they didn't accept it back, so I get to keep it now. So, there you go. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the PS3 and 360 games. And now, on to the final video, where it's going to be the 8th generation games. All, like, 6 of them that I have. So, with that said, see you there.